Welcome to Nicole's Notions. We are going to start our journey through the 501 must-see movies, and we are starting our journey with Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Let's get right into it. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers is a musical starring Jane Powell and Howard Keel. They play Millie and Adam. This movie had its world premiere in Houston, Texas, July 15, 1954. This movie won the Academy Award for the best music scoring of a musical picture. Fun fact, this award is now known as Best Score. Although it has changed titles over the years, currently in order to win it, you have to have at least 60% of your, of your music score be original. Who knew? Let's see what the book has to say about this movie. Now, I actually think this book gives away too much of the movie if you haven't seen it. So I'm only going to read a couple of, of quotes from the book. So uh, let's see. Oregon farmer Adam Ponopee, played by Howard Keel, goes off to town to find himself a wife. He espies the lovely Millie, played by Jane Powell, marries her and takes her home. When she finds six more Ponopy boys, Millie gives them all a bath and a proper dinner and starts, teach and starts teaching them how to be courteous to ladies. Do you think she's successful? <laughs> seven Brides for Seven Brothers was a mystifyingly to the studio massive success when it opened and has remained enormously popular ever since. Mills and Boone, who are the authors of this book, uh, let's say they say it's probably also the first time in a musical that boys really danced like boys and they also know that is gloriously politically incorrect. Gloriously politically incorrect. Let's unpack that because boy is it ever. You have to go into this movie just accepting that it was made in the 50s and viewing it as entertainment. There's so many things that I disagree with but it's funny, it's entertaining. If you can get past it, you'll really enjoy it. The first song that starts the movie is called Bless Your Beautiful Hide. If you can get through this song and appreciate the humor, you'll do just fine. Here we go with some facts. This movie was set in Oregon, and although the director wanted to shoot on location in Oregon, the studio wouldn't allow it. So this is why we see the beautifully painted backdrops that although look fake now, probably were really impressive at the time of the movie. One bird in particular did think the backdrops looked really, really convincing because at the start of the song, Wonderful, Wonderful Day, they released some birds. And if you look very closely, you can see that one of the birds flew into the backdrop. One of the seven brides, Dorcas. Yes, her name is Dorcas. So Dorcas was played by actress Julie Newmar. You may know Julie Newmar as the original Catwoman from the 1960s TV show, Batman. At the time of this film, she went by Julie Newmar and then later changed her name to Julie Newmar. Thank you, MGM. We love gingers. But seriously, Howard Kill's eyebrows, that mustache, that deep, silky voice, oh my goodness. Although he is very sexy and manly, some would say manlier than Ron Swanson. I do prefer Frank. Frank is my favorite brother. He is so handsome. He's played by Tommy Ron. Personally, I love this movie. There's a reason why I chose to do it first. My favorite scene is the barn raising scene. I also love the song, Lonesome Polecat, where the Ponte brothers are singing and also chopping wood at the same time. It's so amazing. Uh, my absolute favorite song is Go and Cordon though. So <laughs> this is a song where Millie is teaching her six brothers how to properly interact with the girls of the town and court them. 
I've got to tell you, this song has some great tips that are even relevant for today. So if you need some help, maybe watch the song and uh, take some tips from Millie. Watch the movie. Let me know in the comment section if you liked it, if you have a favorite song or a favorite part in the movie. Please also remember to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can see the next movie when it comes out. Now, let's pick the next movie that we're gonna watch this week and talk about next week. Now, I've got all 10 categories in here, but I did remove musical because I don't wanna do two musicals in a row. Not that I don't love musicals. Let's see. Ooh, comedy. Let's go. Let's see. There we go. Ooh. Austin Powers, International Made of Mystery. That's the movie we're doing next week. Hope you join me. See you next Friday.